May God be with you all. And anyone who knows me knows I will never fundraise for nothing on this lot. I don't do it. I just I never thought I would either. That time that I did it was very impromptu. And it was because I felt gross getting money while the victim's mom was on my panel. Yeah. It was very impromptu. I'm like, I don't want this. Money. This is not what this is about. I'm going to give it all to her. And I did. Mm -hmm. These idiots don't want to believe that, but whatever. So this is the thing. I'm not, I've net, YouTube is not about money and views and shit for me. It just never has been. I'm not trying to grow a huge channel. I, don't I like what I do. I yeah, like what I do. I'm happy in my little lane and people just don't like that. They get threatened because I do correct misinformation. I'll I'll correct misinformation. I don't care who it is. Even Gray Hughes got pissed off when I corrected him when yeah. he lied about the Kyler Rodney case on a video. Great. And I could see I could see that he was wrong and I called it out. Well, we didn't like that. But I don't care. I'll call anybody out. Um so <laughs> mystery brings up something. Here's another twisted thing that people just they throw they'll take something and they'll twist it all around. And it's just so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Exactly, Crystal. It's like, I had made, there was a live that somebody did where they were raising money for therapy for somebody who allegedly found a crime victim. Okay? Uh -huh. <clears throat> so they needed money for therapy. I am all about that. Um, fully support that. However, I didn't have money at the time, so I made a future pledge. I pledged $1,000 for that person as soon as I, I'm working on my parents' probate, you know, I just told you about my parents passing, uh -huh. and we're, we're not done yet, but we're getting there. We're almost done now. Um, well, I told her I was going to have it in a month or so, because that's when, at the time, the attorney was telling me that we were supposed to be done, but we weren't. I didn't know that it takes a lot longer. So, in my haste, though, and I admitted this, I said I shouldn't have made the pledge, because I really didn't know when I was going to have it. I should have waited a little longer, but uh -huh. I really wanted to help this person, you know, come to find out it was actually a scam itself. This person who was on their panel doing this thing, mm -hmm. raising this money, had lied about the finding of the victim. It was all a lie. Oh all God. of it. It's all out there. I did a live on it. I was like, I am sick of this crap. They lied about finding They someone? lied about finding a victim. And then oh they came after me because I didn't come up with that thousand dollars in that month's time and accused me of reneging on my plan and yes that is a word reneging is a plan is a word it's not a bad word people hello english 101 reneging means it's r-e-n-e-g-g-i-e-n -E -E and just to shut down any bullshit on that i literally got called a racist for saying that word. <laughs> it may be it may be your accent <laughs> it might be yeah it may be your accent because i i say reneging reneg like reneg. Uh, you can so say yeah, but anyway, so I was attacked it. for not coming up with the money within the month, okay? I had I had emailed uh -huh. this person. I told her I don't have it yet. Here's what's going on. Told her all my personal business, which I didn't need to do anyway. Um, and they came after me hard over it. They cornered me on some panels, nine people against me over and over and over, and forced me into, and guilt-tripped me into taking back my pledge, okay? 
immediately after I did that, finally, because I just wanted to just leave me alone, um, that was when I researched and found out that the whole thing was a bunch of bullshit anyway. They went back on another what channel. The, um, victim that was found, the missing person? What, uh, Rachel, what? Rachel Morin. So oh, I went back and I researched. Who, yeah. Who, can you tell me who the creator was that said they found I, I don't want to drag that back up because there was an agreement to drop the matter. I'm only answering uh, oh. these people in chat that are accusing me of BS around it. I did nothing wrong, y'all. Okay. I did nothing wrong. They actually scanned on right after this. They went back on another channel and raised a bunch of money to make up for my pledge that I didn't come through on. Right. Mm hmm. They took the original money that was raised on the first live and then all of this money and gave it to that person knowing the whole time that this person themselves got called out by law enforcement for lying. They went on a media tour claiming that they had found her and they didn't. Law enforcement themselves had to come out and say this person is lying. They didn't find her. They had claimed they described, you know, a gruesome crime scene and stuff that they never saw y'all. And then this money never even went for the therapy. Never even went for the therapy. It just went straight to the person. Mm. And they admitted on a live that, um, not to the, the second live, they never knew. They thought that their money was going for therapy. And then they sent it to the original people. <clears throat> and it was a live, it was a couple thousand. And then they came back on another live and quietly said, and I recorded it, um, they, they decided they're not going to have therapy, so they're just going to keep the money. How is that okay? Not only did they not find this person that they claimed they found, they went on a media tour lying about it, got busted by law enforcement for it, and then raised a bunch of money with the same lie. And these people on YouTube never fact-checked any of it. Hmm. They're the ones who scammed everybody. Period. That's wrong. I'll tell you more in private. Okay, yeah. I'll, I would love to hear the story. It's sad. It's really sad. So you know what I decided? You know, I am going to make good on that $1,000 pledge, but not to them. What I'm going to do when I have all this done is I'm going to have the money ready, and I'm going to do a live either on my channel or another channel, preferably a larger channel where I can get more of an audience because I'm not about views for me. I want to help in some way. So I'm going to have a, a thing where the viewers can pick the charity or victim's family or whatever, whatever they come up with. And then I'll make the donation live so that everybody can see I'm making good on it, just not to the scammers. Period. I really would love LFT to come up here so that we could just show you our little timeline, be done and walk away. I would freaking love it because there's something that's really tough to do. And I, I apologize for interrupting. Interrupt. You got I am on screen for a purpose because I want you to look and see me. I want you to see. Oh, shit, look I'm me in the you. eyes. Oh, Number one, y'all like a timeline? I got your timeline. I like timelines. I got your timeline. We like whiteboards oh, board, and timelines around here. Like I like timelines we like whiteboards. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, show this because LFT and I had a little conversation today. So, can you fill the chat in? Not all of my subscribers yes. are aware of who LFT is. LFT is the brains behind Decipher Podcast. That's who LFT is. She is my partner in true crime. She is my best friend. She is the brains behind everything. Um, she would never put something together like what I'm about to show you because hers would be much prettier and put together. This was on a whim because I wanted to, I'm so sick of these stupid emails and the deflection and all the things that keep going on. So what happened was we're working on a case, by the way, we did not contact the family and never have I ever contacted the family on any case ever, ever. Um, we're working with a family and this was actually not even the family of the case we're working on. This was the person who found the victim okay they found our victim and we were doing a live with that family and crime sleuthin donated or pledged pledged a thousand dollars of which she didn't have okay read the screen please okay let's read the screen okay this will be fun all right what's the screen yeah. someone someone read it because i'm about to make it more fun says i'd like to make a thousand dollar pledge to this family. I won't have it for another month, mm -hmm. but I want your your cursors over it. I want Tia to get a hold of me then to help transfer it. The poor girl. That was Crime <laughs> Sleuthin's comment highlighted okay. on the screen. Here we go. The Cypher podcast reached out to Crime Sleuthin in November because we didn't hear anything. 
the month after or the second month after or going on the third month for this girl who needs therapy. We didn't hear anything. So there's our email. We hope this email finds you well. We wanted to ask you about the status of your pledge because we have a girl who's in dire, and I do mean dire fucking straits right now. Okay. So there's our email reaching out November, what, 10th after our August 27th pledge. Here we go. This is what we get back. And we did get this back promptly. Hello, I haven't forgotten. I was wrapping up and handling probate for my dad's estate. Blah, blah, blah. None of my business. None of my business. None of my all this. None of my business. I don't care. Just tell me where the money is for our girl. Pay our girl. I don't care about any of this. She says we never replied. Okay. Why would I? What do I care? This isn't my problem. Now we're into March. March 5th. I come up on panel and I say, hey, girl, what the hell? Where's our money? It's not even, I say our money. It's not my money. I don't even want anything to do with it. I want it to go straight to the person because she, oh God, I, I, can, I can't LFT. You're going to have to tag over on that one. But I left or the last panel I did on Deets where I came up and talked to you. There's this proof. Okay. Then last night in the middle of the night, I get this. I need to speak with you. Okay. Well, I wasn't feeling great yesterday. So I, I said, Hey, sorry. just saw this. Didn't check my emails. I apologize. What's going on? This is the email I get back. I'd like to talk about the whole thing that happened on Deets Live last week. I am still upset about it. I don't understand why you came up there and made it sound like I had reneged on my pledge. That wasn't true. Where is your pledge? Oof. Um, pause. It, it's 2024. Let's not use rene That's still. Oh, sorry, I apologize. Uh, no, no, not, not you. Do you know the definition of reneged? I do not the definition of reneged. I, 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 you know what? I, I sincerely, I apologize. Thank you for correcting me for I should have read that. I wasn't earlier. correcting you though. No, you, you, you were. Sorry. I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I really am. And thank you. I appreciate you actually saying something. I really truly. Now, go ahead. If, if we're going to zoom in on this, I didn't. Can you go back to the previous email that I sent her? Go ahead and show it. Go ahead and zoom in on it. Well, let me, how about you let me finish. Let how do you sit there and shut the well, fuck you up? Skipped. You skipped. You skipped over oh, I, where I explained oh, what it, it to you a long no, time ago. I said ago. I didn't give a shit, is what I said. No one cares. That's no one cares. cares because I had real things that happened. That no, you don't. You, you didn't money. discover a dead body. You did not. You have nothing going on that requires you discovering a dead body and a young girl. You did nothing. I told you. I, my I life is nothing compared to what this girl has gone up to. So simmer the fuck down. That's what I said in my email. I spelled it correctly. I didn't say the bad word. Okay, so Ooh, we're going to deflect again. again. Yes, we're going to deflect. Minor thing. No, I it, no, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. Here's the bottom line. You pledged $1,000 to a victim that you didn't have. And I said at the time that I pledged it that I did not have it. I then why do that it? Time because I, I've already explained this to you in the last time that you came up on panel. Mm -hmm. But and I didn't hear me fucking time. over again. It was a week ago. Why, why are you, are you advocating for a victim? Why because you, you have to be you crazy fucking loon. Email. You emailed me. You couldn't respond to my email. <laughs> you, you emailed me. You didn't respond to my email in November. Why would I? Well, what what the f you said is being a human being and understanding that I have things that came as up and soon I, as I, I have it, I will let you know. I will let you know. I still right. don't have it. Today I still don't have it. We're four and months. I have never eight ever months out. That never eight have months. I said, Oh, never mind, I've got other stuff that's come up, so I can't do it. I always said that I will make good on that. Wait, wait, wait. I have wait. never reneged on that on that pledge ever. Wait, this Can is I a pattern though. Mm -hmm. Thank There's you. Not, I have never pledged money or anything that I've never given ever. Wait, Kara, I've donated a lot Kara? of money, money that y'all don't even know about. Don't you still owe Kara seventy dollars? No, I do not. You did the math with criminality. That's not easy. live. That was no. That was bad YouTube math. That's not issue. How, wait, wait, what does that mean? Hate that. Like, what is YouTube what math? Bad mean? YouTube you math mean? Got it. Did you not watch the video that somebody in your own live deets showed to you in there? Did I you went not to it. say I that you. you never received a dollar? The entire community that contributed to Kara that night, did you not say that you didn't receive a dollar of it and all of the money came out of your own pocket, but then at the end of Deets Live, we did find out you got paid? Was That's that not, not what, what I said. said? That's not what I said. I what? said I gave really? hundred out of my own pocket. No. <gasps> That is not what you said. Don't make me go through this again. But very, but like two days later, I went and gave her 100. You said all was reversed. That not only did you not get paid, but no, I said I didn't you, met, you, met, you, made the, you made sure to keep the promise to Kara. So everything to Kara was out of your own pocket. That is what you said. I, you did. I kept you my did. word. I kept my word. But you got paid. Thank you, Shay. Because at the time, and also, while we're talking about Shay Benet's, while we're talking when, about Shay Benet's, really quick, hold on one second. Hang on one second. I want to, she just showed something on there. I want to tell you that. When Shea Benet donated, she donated $100. Do you know what the victim got? $100. You know why? 
because they don't give a shit about YouTube and the money and everything else. They see what's on the screen. That's it. And we didn't, ex and we also didn't explain it and didn't like, no. if they saw a hundred dollars, they, they knew that they're getting a hundred dollars. But can mm -hmm. I just say something really fast and then I'll yes. tell you guys scamming the family? And everybody, including um, me, stood yeah, up for so, you. Okay, so oh, help, bitch. Oh, oh, come for me. Hey, oh, 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 wait, stop, stop, stop. Mm -hmm. Both of you, stop. Hold on. Don't, Don't you tell me to stop. I will leave you, you up for that comment. That. I know you will. I know you will. We'll deal with that later. But hold on. Mm -hmm. I'm sleuthing. Mm -hmm. You better. You inappropriate, better. inappropriate. Don't even go there. Okay. I can't go there. You guys have been accused of scams. Oh, okay. Well, for I will let Okay, who the fuck accused me of scamming? Who the fuck accused me of scamming? Number one. You never talk about it. Right? Okay. I didn't yeah, need you. Yeah, right. I showed my receipts. Every single we, one. You know who else we had? The family behind us. So don't, don't you have ever come with me. Okay. Don't come for me on scamming, sister, because I got all my receipts and they're all out there already. So it, it's they're okay in Facebook. for some of you guys to reach out to family, yeah. but not anybody no, else. We didn't reach out to family. They reached out to us. Prove it. We're honest. You want me to prove it? I'll no, fucking prove so it. Easy to prove. Don't I'm just saying. It's hypocritical. Okay. You can Quinn, kiss my ass because you for your problems. Yeah. Because here's the deal. We proved it. We, you damn we did prove it. I don't like. I don't like getting up on panels and doing this kind of bullshit. And when I speak, you know it's fucking time that I'm speaking. And all I'm saying is, of course, we appreciate your support if you supported us during that time. But it was an easy thing for us to show the receipts. And we us, showed our receipts. We didn't bring it, and we didn't bring it up. We wanted, uh, and we were never scamming. Everything we I wasn't either. I made a promise too early. Gift. You made a promise eight months ago. Too early we made a promise, kept our promise, and gave those kids. But then all of that in that email happened. But here's the big Go issue. ahead and read Actually, it. Then. Here's the big issue. I read your email that we got today. And I liked you thinking it was going to be an update on the progress. I'm not going to lie. It kind of felt, as we quoted, and like I said, the read damn email. I don't care. Because I felt like your email seemed misguided. It felt more almost like a journal entry. Like you were like, why is everyone coming at me? I don't care. Quit break, like, don't get the, if you stand by and say, quit defending it. You said your piece, be done with it. I don't, I, that email, like, your fan favorite, that shit doesn't apply to us. It doesn't matter. Well, I, I have it already addressed this. So I came to her privately yeah. and directly as an adult. And instead of just responding to me and talking to me, because I actually did that on the recommendation of a good friend of yours who said, I should reach out to you and tell you how I'm feeling and talk with you. And then I should not give any money to you guys and you should go to the family when I get it. Exactly. My pledge is still good. I don't, I don't, I don't want your money. It better go to the family. We don't, that Tia does not, we don't I will reach money. out myself when I get the money and they will get it. Okay. I, all yeah. that stuff. Well, that's great. I just talked to the family really and they're looking true. forward to hearing from you. From you. As soon but, as I get it. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that, I have never right. taken that back. And, and that, but that thousand dollars isn't even going to go very far. I okay. told you guys. I said in the chat, you know, because you know I, what's I going on with her. In the chat, do you, you know what's going on with her? Far. Can I answer? Because no, I told you no, in the you chat, in the same yourself. live, in the same live, I was talking in chat. And I said, look, I know how expensive this is. I have a family member who just went through this. I know it's traumatic, and trauma therapy is very expensive. It's about two hundred seventy-five to three hundred dollars per visit. So this is only going to cover a few visits. If that, you know what? Here's what you don't know. I have a doctor lined up. Stop the therapy for five thousand dollars plus. Who is already taking her? Okay. Not for that amount. Because. Good. Here's because it's trauma therapy and because it's local and he also, knows the story. Hold on. Because he knows the story and because he is taking a considerable cut to get her. And I have his email. Good. It is great. Good. It's not okay. great. It's great. But here's the thing, crime sleeping. And I mean, this only. You can forward me. Okay. Can I, can I can forward you what? Wait. Pause, I can pause, forward pause, you pause. what? Wait. Let, let L LFT talk for a minute. Hold on a second. I can forward her what? What did you just say I can forward you? I said, if you want, you can forward me the counselor's information when I get the money. Oh, and I, I wouldn't forward, forward you a shit. Yeah, don't do that. You ain't forwarding you shit. That's fine. I can reach out to the family. I don't care as long as they get it. Don't reach family out doesn't know. The family doesn't know the name of the doctor. That's the best part about it. You go oh. right the fuck ahead. You I have one quick question. I have one quick question. Wait, um, you can ask your question. No, pause, pause. pause. You can ask your question in a minute. Let LTF speak. She has been trying to speak for a very long time now. So please, LTF. LTF. I left you. Oh. Sorry, my bad. My bad. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. You go. No, thank you. Okay. Okay. One crumb sleeping. All other bullshit aside, I do believe the other a couple or the other week ago. I don't know because it was the ass crack of dawn when y'all did the live. And I do think that like a beats helped. Like it was just you know we kind of came to a conclusion of like we we understood that you're you had extenuating circumstances that the finances not might not be readily available. We got it. You told us that. We never denied that. We addressed it. Let's see here. I know there was an email or two. I don't want to go and look at that document. Sorry, I stepped outside in an attempt to get better Wi-Fi. Um, but I know T has mapped it all out. I know we've. I know there's been um, communication about it. We're, but 
I do have to agree with Tia in a way that like we shouldn't chase you down. And something that you keep making a point of is that it's something that it, it seems like it resonates with you on a personal level because maybe the experience, you know, it seems something that you have a familiarity with. And I encourage you, whether it's the Rachel Moore in case in terms of this pledge or anything else, when that matters, follow up on it because I think you'll do yourself a huge favor instead of instead of creating this kind of mess and, and just have that okay. kind of communication and update because your your donation and the pledge like i just remember it took me like it took me a second to register it back in in the august early september sorry i don't know the date off the top of my head and it's such a it is such a generous thing to offer and if you stand by it like that continue to follow up on it like focus on the things that like that you commit to and, do it and get this bullshit because this is like it's, sorry i don't mean to offend anyone in the chat because i don't i don't know all the idaho stuff and i, I don't i'm not trying to uh you know downgrade Whatever no, going on you're there. fine. And, I'm and just talking there's about a link. Like, email today, it just came back a little bit, like all of a sudden out of the blue, because y'all had a decent discussion the other night on deeds. And right, and I think I'm I'm and then and then we get this email, and, it, and all of a sudden it's kind of like I have to admit, I understand it can't be easy to take the criticism on panels, but you, we seem to end y'all seem to have ended in like a general understanding. But we get it like a dear you know a dear John letter that it, I'm the victim and I can't like now I'm really upset about this. That, that's great. I am so, I mean, like, I, I don't know what to tell you, except I, that's not our concern. The concern is, is the big pledge that you publicly made and how we proceed mm -hmm. forward. That's all we need. And to I explained it. Is there a little bit and and I told time already to well, There's a lot of people in chat that. who want to help contribute. Is there a donation link or anything that we could be dropping for anybody no. who does want to contribute? Nothing. No, there is no link because I want nothing. And if you know me, you know I want nothing to do with money. If the family, that portion, wants to do a link, I will speak to them. I am not, absolutely okay. not doing a link. Well, if um, they do a I, link, can you email it to me and I'll make a community post on absolutely. that? Or something? Of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because great. what's really important and what you guys don't know is what's happened to this person since the discovery. Just be careful. Just be careful. I don't know if you are. I'm not suggesting that you are. That's, you, you know, I saw you write it in chat. I don't encourage anybody, but I'm also sick of this. We didn't scam. I, my heart and my soul goes into each and every case. And so does LFTs. Our everything, our literal blood, sweat, and tears goes in. And anything less calling us, you know, liars or mean girls we're not mean girls we proved you we, we proved that you weren't honest that's what we proved and in 10 hours 10 hours i can't tell you how many lies you said because every time you said something you said i didn't say that yeah you did you said a lot i can i can only speak and only want to speak specifically about today and the way you introduced it, crime sleep in, and you were like, look at what I found out. Wait till you see my proof or all this. And all he did was, I literally asked in chat, I asked, are these news, are these news clips your receipts? Is this, I, why, I couldn't, also, I couldn't, why did you throw, why did you throw Johnny under the bus? Why on earth did you show his, what, what was your point there? What was your point? In fact, come on in and come up on panel. Tell us all the things. You didn't give us that opportunity. I asked to come up. You blocked me. I think she did that to Melissa too. Well, I stand by what I said earlier. I, I saw the link. I knew I could ask for it. But the more I listened, I, I literally meant, I, I have a screen recording of every comment I made in the chat. I was, I, I'm, I was like, this isn't new. Yeah, we, I said, we've all seen all these clips. We've addressed all this. Um, we will not speak for Johnny. What we did was was no way associated in what you were showing. I, he was on a live with us about his stepdaughter and what she was going through. He followed through on that. End of story. It sounds like your issue was with or about something else, but it sure as hell isn't about what we did and what you publicly pledged. Like I, it was, it was. An, I almost have secondhand embarrassment. Do better. This is ridiculous. And don't do it after you sit there and 
preach about bullying and mean girls and, and these creators coming together and and utilizing case like i i just I, I mean i know exactly where i was sitting today listening to your live and i purposely listened like not being a dick i hate to be no i'm not being a dick i listened because i knew something could be coming because of the email we received the and the way that the coming. way that it was in like that you introduced anything related to decipher that's where you lost me like i i i couldn't say anymore on panel that i even could in the chat and i don't i can take your attitude or whatever you want to say like I get that you're pretty heated with your feelings and whatnot, um, crime sleuthing, and how you were like kind of laughing at some of my comments, but I would have been the, I'm, I'm sitting here like I would have this afternoon. I'd be oh, like, I lost Johnny. Okay, again, your point, because the point that pertains to us is what we said we were going to do and what we did. I, the rest, give it a rest. Because you're Johnny's driving, up here. You are. Okay, sorry. How's everybody doing tonight? Well, Blackhawk. You know how I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, but Tia, you know what? If I would have never been cruising through the lives that night, I would have never known none of this was even going on. You know what I mean? I know. So here's the deal, Johnny. I got some questions for you, and I want you to ask us some questions. And okay. I want complete and utter honesty. If I'm lying about something, you call me out. By the way, I did Siege, and I did Palo Santo, just so you know. That's why yeah. I'm calmer. I can tell you, you're doing good this live. You're not freaking out this live, but that's good. Oh, That's I called good. Johnny freaking out, y'all. I called with all the cursy words. And to be honest with you, Johnny, who is pretty calm, cool, and collected, had all the cursy words back. <laughs> yeah, because this woman doesn't even know me personally. But yet, she's got the nerve to go up on YouTube and say that I'm a scammer, I'm a liar. You know, and this woman doesn't know me from her ass from a hole in the ground. Honestly. You know? You know, know. They say that words hurt more than physical pain and they're right you know what all i wanted to do that day was help my community i wasn't looking for any handouts or anything like that when my community is in distress i come out and help you wouldn't have known about it you were still asleep and cc called me right cc no, called no, me. no no names no names no names well, no, Brad told you we ain't talking about hurting him she called me that morning and she said she was going for a walk on the trail but she didn't want to go by herself because there was somebody, that, a lady that was missing on the trail the day before. So I told her, I jumped up out of bed and I told her mom, I said, tell her to wait there. I'm on my way. You know, so. How far are you from the trail, Johnny? Oh, man. I'm right in Rock State Park. I'm maybe like 10 minutes away. Yeah. Okay. You know, and when I told the news outlets that I hadn't been there, I told them that I hadn't been there for a long time. We used to run that trail as kids. That's how we would avoid the police in Bel Air when we were teenagers. I mean, before it even became a trail, yeah. it was still the railroad bed back there, you know, and that's how I knew about all these drainage tunnels. I was getting intuition that day. Something was coming through me telling me the answers. I was being guided by my ancestors, not by, I wasn't guiding myself. No. So, you know, for her to go up there and try to disbunk all this stuff, I mean, everything that I said was already corroborated. You know, everything that I had said, what did I lie about? What did I actually lie about? Okay, so Johnny, did we have a conversation prior to the live that we did to raise money? Did we tell you we were going to do that? I honestly am asking because I don't remember the answer. No, but, that was absolutely a spur of the moment thing. Okay, so we just did that on the live, right? Is that yeah, it? Popped up right on the live, and then, and then that's when the community came together and started donating. I mean, we didn't plan that ahead before the live. Okay, so um. I think, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think I met you in another chat. Yeah. And then, I don't remember how we got in touch, but where did we meet the first time? We met in, I believe it was somebody else's chat about Rachel, Rachel yeah. Moore. And then, did I meet you in person? Yes. I was going down the trail one day, and I had talked to you on text messages that day and told you I was going down there. So you came down and you met me down there. Yep. I, I met a strange man in the woods, as my husband says. Yeah, but you know what? Without meeting me down there, you got a lot of useful information about, you know, the, the ins and outs of that trail. I did. I did. And I also had a bit of protection, which was very kind. And a lot uh, of what people don't understand is that this trail is so open. We went down there and blew whistles. Nobody came. Yep. We stood down there and yelled our heads off. Yep. 20, 45 minutes at a time. Nobody came. But they were supposedly patrolling. Did, so, um, did I give you any money, Johnny? No, not at all. 
everything I did, I did my own gas money, all my own expenses. I didn't ask nobody for a dime. Did I, I have I ever spoken to your stepdaughter? No, not at all. It's all been it's all gone through me. Period. How did I how did I get her cash app? Through me. Did I send her money, Johnny? Yes, you did. Did she receive the money? Yes. Yes, she did. And she is very grateful for it, you know. Especially when she's having a hard time at work. You know, she's having a hard time coping with life after this happened. She used to be an avid outdoors woman. Now she don't go out. She don't go on hikes by herself. She don't go out in a kayak anymore. She calls her, mommy on, the way home she calls her mom on the way home from work. Right. Doesn't she need somebody to take her in and out of her um her home? Oh, yeah. Okay. Her Why is that? With her there 90% of the time. Because she's afraid of... I don't want to leave the... I don't want to no. witness. What is she afraid of? She's afraid of the backlash from whatever, you know, th this guy that's still on the loose. Okay. She's really worried about him coming after her. Is she going to use the money that Deets on the Streets community that we sent? Is she going to use that for therapy? Um, I don't know if she's going to use it for therapy or she's going to use it to help her in her everyday life. She has not made that decision yet. But with that being said, you know, with her having trouble having to go to work every day and, you know, deal with all the trauma that she's already faced, that money is actually going to keep her head above water. You know what I mean? She's five months pregnant. Six months. Well, six months now. I'm sorry. Yeah. Six months pregnant. You know, she, since this has happened, she has not partaken in any illegal or legal substances because, you know, number one, she's pregnant, but number two, she's scared to go, you know, outside of her own skin. So was, um, and I, from my understanding, and I'm not saying anything that doesn't, um, she was partaking in things because she was scared because she was in trauma. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Now, if I send you again, the therapist's name and his yeah. phone number, will you please pass that on? I sure will. I sure will. Can I make her go? No. <laughs> no. No. And I'm going to do my damnedest to encourage her. Right. But I you cannot know, make her go. You know that. No. You know? Um, but, I want to know where the scam was. You know what? To tell you the truth, to make this situation even better, we didn't even know the money existed. How many times have I called you since all those pledges came through? How many times have I called you on the phone asking you about that money? Never. You've never mentioned that money to me. Well, I'm a scammer, right? If I was a scammer, I'd be calling you every day looking for the money, every hour on the hour. You've never, ever mentioned that money. I mentioned it to you when I saw you on the trail one day. I said, I want you to know we didn't forget. We're still trying. We're trying to honor. Yeah. And, but I, you have never, ever mentioned anything to us. Not once. And I don't think a lot of people understand that. They think that I was probably trying to get that money every day, and I wasn't even worried about it. I knew... You know, I knew if it was meant to come through, it would come through. And well, if it wasn't meant to come through, it wasn't meant to come through, so be it. You know? I just but, want uh, the subject to stop with this particular victim, and I do not want any other victims' names used for yeah, money know, in this particular why, circumstance. I just don't know why she has resorted to attacking me. I don't get that one. I have nothing to do with any of this. My name is out. I agree. You know what I mean? I know that was Johnny. That's what I was trying to say in chat and with her today. That I don't. I said this is old news. I, I don't understand as, in terms of her receipts or what she wanted to prove. It was unnecessary, and I apologize. Um, oh, it's fine. I'm able to help you. Yeah. But, I'm you know, all you your same breath, daughter, but all your same breath with her attacking me and plastering my face all over her feed. That really upset me. You know what I mean? She didn't have to resort to putting my face on her feet at all. No, she didn't. And anyway, she decided to make it. A, that's where that's where she missed the mark. It needed to be about decipher in our efforts. She took it in another direction. She's going to have to own that. And I, all I can do is just apologize because, believe me, I heard it all. I, I sat through the from the beginning to at least halfway through the part that was quote unquote about decipher and what she wanted to prove. And all I can say that seemed. It was unnecessary, misguided. No one was misled. And I just, by the way, Crime Sleuth, no one was misled when you asked, does Pete know that this? Does Melissa Jade? Yeah, we're all good there.